Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth MCQ video on digital electronics. Let us get started. Which of the following logic circuits is the fastest? RTL, DTL, TTL all have same speed. And here you go. And the answer is TTL. Since the transistor to transistor logic, the gates are saturated switches. Minority carrier storage time in each junction limits the switching speed of the device. In variations on the basis, TTL are intended to reduce the effects and improve the speed of over the power consumption. And its switching speed can be as much high as 100 megahertz. Which of the following is not a transmission medium? Telephone lines, coaxial cables, modem, microwave systems. And here you go. And the answer is modem. Modem means basically modulator and demodulator. And this is used to get the internet connection from the hub. Hence, it does not help to transmit or receive the data as a transmission medium. The time required for a gate to change its output is called as decay time, start time, run time, propagation delay. And here you go. The answer is propagation delay. The time required to change the output of a gate is known as the propagation delay. Which of the following is not a code conversion standard? BCD code, XS3 code, gray code, truth code. And here you go. And the answer is truth code. There is no such code as truth code, which is a code conversion standard. Dash frequency is the rating at which a gate will perform its function with full efficiency. Propagation, truth, operating, runtime. And here you go. And the answer is operating frequency. So the operating frequency is the rating at which the gate will perform its functions with full efficiency. Combinations that are not listed for the input variables are overflow, carry, borrow, don't care. And here you go. And the answer is don't care. Don't care cases are the combination of the inputs for those the values of the output does not matter. Minimum number of two input NAND gates used to perform the function of two input OR gate is 1, 2, 3, 4. And here you go. And the answer is 3. So from the diagrams, you can see you already know NAND gate is an universal gates and it can be used to obtain any other gates. So for obtaining an OR gate with two inputs, this is the combination. So it requires three NAND gates. Which circuit is used in between two systems having two different cores? Sequential, combinational, both A and B converter. And here you go. And the answer is a converter. Both sequential circuits and combinational circuits are not used for two different codes. If we need to convert one code to another, we need conversion techniques. So we need a converter. A full ladder has two inputs, two out outputs, three inputs, two outputs, two inputs, one output, three inputs, one output. And here you go. And the answer is three inputs and two outputs. A full ladder is an adder which adds two bits plus the carry from the previous stage. So A and B are the inputs and C is the C in is the carry from the previous stage and it produces two outputs, the sum and carry out. A half adder has two inputs, two outputs, three inputs, two outputs, two inputs, one output, three inputs, one output. And here you go. And the answer is two inputs and two outputs. So basically, 
a half adder adds two inputs without any carry from the previous stage and it will produce a sum output and a carry output so basically this half adders are used to add the lsb that is the least significant bits where there is no carry in the switch which clears a flip flop is known as reset clear both a and b none of them both and here you and the answer is both a and b so the switch which clears a flip flop can be called as a reset or clear pin and it make the output q equal to 0 and q bar equal to 1 a master slave flip flop is a combination of dash flip flops 6 2 3 4 and here you go. and the answer is 2 so a master slave flip flop has a master flip flop and a slave flip flop so the slave works based on the action of the master flip flop odd parity of a bit stream can be tested using dash gate or and nor xo and here you go. and the answer is xo so xo can check the odd parity of a bit string the number ff in base 16 systems will be equal to dash in binary system 111111101010111001001010110 and here you go and the answer is 111111 because f means 15 and it is represented by 1111 so the answer is a 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 bytes 1024 bits 1024k bytes 1024m bytes and here you go and the answer is 1024m bytes megabytes is equal to 1 gigabyte multiplexer is a combinational logic circuit used to perform the operation and 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 or nor or xor nand and here you go and the answer is and or So basically, multiplexer is a combinational circuit which acts as a data selector. It converts multiple input into one output, and it performs OR function of different AND functions, as you can see from the diagram. This is a four to one. A small circle or dot on top of an IC represents pin two, pin thirteen, pin fourteen, pin one, and here you go. and the answer is pin 1 because this dot is the starting pin of the ic and the other pins can be found from the this pin by moving in the counter clockwise direction number of two input multiplexers needed to construct a 2 raised to 10 input multiplexer is 10 9 129 1023 and here you go and the answer is 2 raised to 10 minus 1 which is 1023 the main equation for a d flip flop is q equal to 0 q equal to 1 q equal to d q equal to d complement and here you go and the answer is q equal to d that is when the clock is high the output will be a 0 if the input is 0 output will be a 1 if the input is 1 that is the d flip flops acts like a transparent circuit when the clock is enabled that is high a graphical representation of a product in a truth table is called 
mapping, graphing, tmap, kmap. And the answer is yes, it's a kmap. So the graphical representation of product in, in a truth table is called a kmap. So that is all for this video. Thank you for watching.